Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about working with numbers in Java. Now, numbers are an extremely common data type, and when you're working in your Java programs, a lot of times you're going to want to work with numbers. So, I'm going to show you all the different things you can do with numbers. We're going to talk about how different types of numbers interact. And I'll show you some awesome math methods that we can use to perform more complex math operations on the numbers in our programs. So let's get started. Here's the basics. I'm, if I just wanted to print out a number onto the screen, I could just like type in any number inside of this system.out.println statement, and it'll just get printed out onto the screen. But let's say that I wanted to do something a little bit more complicated. What if I wanted to add two numbers together? Well, if you want to add two numbers, all you have to do is just type out the numbers that you want to add and the operator that we want to use. So I could say like three plus four. And now instead of just literally printing out three plus four, Java is going to go ahead and execute that operation for us. And it's going to print out the sum of four and three. So you can see here we get seven. So in addition to using a plus sign, we could use a minus sign that'll subtract the numbers. And you also see that Java has no problem with negative numbers. So if I take three minus four, we're able to get negative one and it'll display just like that. So we can use subtraction. We could also use division and division is just going to be this forward slash. And then we can also use multiplication. So let's go ahead and divide these numbers. Let's take three divided by four and you'll see that we get zero. Now, Here's the first distinction that I want to make. In Java, there's two different types of numbers. There's integers and then there's decimal numbers. And there's a couple of different data types that we can use for decimals. But let's just say that there are doubles because double is the most common data type for uh, decimal numbers. Because I'm dividing two integers, in other words, three is an integer and four is an integer, I'm getting back an answer that's also an integer. So zero is an integer. Now, normally three divided by four would give us a decimal answer. But since I'm dividing the integer three by the integer four, I'm only going to get an integer answer back. If I was to come over here and say 3.0 divided by 4.0, now I should get a decimal answer back. So you'll see now we get 0 0.75, which is the actual answer. So Whenever you're doing math inside of your Java files, you want to always make sure that you know what data type you're using. If you're using integers, you want to make sure that you're okay with getting an integer answer. If you're using doubles, then you want to make sure that you're okay with getting a decimal answer. So those are just some basic math operations that we can do. And there's one more I want to show you. It's called the modulus operator. So I could say 10 mod three, and that's just this percent sign right here. What this is going to do is it's going to take 10, it's going to divide it by three, and it's going to spit out the remainder that we get. So 10 divided by three is three with a remainder of one. And so we should now get a one over here on the screen. So in certain circumstances, you're going to want to get the remainder of a couple numbers getting divided, and you can use the modulus operator to do that. So in addition to just printing out numbers, we can also store them in variables. And I'm going to create a couple different variables. We'll create an integer and we'll just call it my int and we'll just set it equal to three. And then we'll also create a double called my double and we'll just set it equal to 5.5. And I could just come down here and use my integers to do my math. So I could say, for example, five plus my int. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to say five plus three. So we'll end up getting eight. And you can see we get eight over there. Here's a question though. What happens if I add a integer and a double together? So let's say if I wanted to add my double and my int, we're actually going to get back a double answer. So anytime you perform math using a double and an integer, you're always going to get back the answer as a double. So you can see here, we're going to get back 8.5 instead of just a normal eight. So you can use doubles and you can use ints to do your math. And I want to show you guys some other math operations that we can use. Now there's a lot of more complex math operations that we might want to be able to use. And Java has this thing called the math class. And the math class is basically just a huge collection of methods that we can use to perform more complex math on our numbers. 
And don't really worry too much about what a class is. Um, we're gonna get into classes later in the course, but a method is basically just a chunk of code that's gonna perform a specific operation. So there's a lot of these uh, methods for different math calculations, and different math operations that we can use to do them in our programs. So the first one I wanna show you is gonna be a method that allow us to get the absolute value of a number. So all we wanna to do to access these math methods is just say math, and that needs to have a capital M, and then I'm gonna access the method that I wanna use. So I can say math dot ABS and ABS is a method which will basically give us the absolute value of a number. So inside of these parentheses, I actually need to give this a number. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass in my double and what this will do is it'll give us the absolute value of the number in here. So I'm gonna make this a negative 5.5. So the absolute value of negative 5.5 is just gonna be normal 5.5. So that's allowing us to use absolute value we can also use one for power. So I could say P-O-W here, and I'm actually gonna use the int. So we'll say my int. So I can pass in the number that I want to take to a specific power, and then I can pass in the power that I wanna take it to. So if I said three, basically what we're saying here is we want to take three to the power of three. So we wanna get three cubed. And over here on the screen, see we get 27, because. 27 is three cubed, right? Three times three is nine, nine times three is 27. So you can use this POW method in order to like use exponentials. We could also do the opposite of this. So we could say SQRT and SQRT stands for square root. So I'm just gonna give this a number. Why don't we give this like 36? So SQRT of 36, the square root of 36 is gonna be six and we'll just get that back over here. There's also some other useful functions. Um, another one I wanna show you guys is called min. And min will basically take in two numbers and it'll tell you which one is the smallest one. So if I passed in like two and six, this min method is gonna return the smaller of the two numbers. So let's run the program. You can see it returns two. So in a situation where we had two numbers and we didn't know which one was smaller. So for example, I could say two and over here I could say my int. Maybe I don't know what number is stored inside of my int. So this num this min method could tell us which one is smaller. You can also use max. So max of two in my int is just gonna return three because my int has a value of three, which is bigger than two. So that's the max function. There's a couple more I wanna show you guys. Another one we can use is round. And round is basically gonna take a decimal number and it's gonna round it. So I could pass in my double and this will round my double using like normal rounding rules. So let's run this. You'll see we get negative five. So it's actually rounded the number down. And you know, you put any number you want in here. So for example, I could put like 5.9 and Java's gonna go ahead and round it up. Another useful method is called random. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna spit out a random number between 